Hey guys, it's Ping. Thanks for tuning in to Whiskey Throttle Media for another race spec video. We've got our 2023 Yamaha YZ450. Another big day on this bike. We're gonna have more. It's probably gonna be something that we progressively do throughout the year as parts become available. Uh, we'll just start documenting kind of what the different parts do for it. But right now there's nothing available. We wanted to come up with the best stock setting we could. And so uh, we ran through a bunch of stuff today. Really old school moto track, uh, high speed, lots of little chatter and ruts and um, super fun track. Uh, everything's kind of, we got some rain, so it's a little muddy out here everywhere. Uh, but some of the knock on this bike I've heard from other test riders is that it's, it's nervous feeling. And there's some fourth gear wide open stuff out here. I figured if it was gonna feel nervous, this would be the place to feel it. I had a really good feeling on this bike when we did the intro down in it, uh, Georgia at the Star Racing Yamaha facility, the goat farm down there. Now that track's amazing. It was prepped perfectly. We didn't have a ton of bumps. So um, I was thinking, man, I wonder if I get home if it's not, you know, maybe I over, overplayed how much I like this bike. And, uh, I, I was a little unsure. I, I was anxious to get out on a, a track out here, just someplace different. And what I confirmed today is basically, I, I, it was exactly how I felt it down there. Uh, this bike just feels lighter, nimble, better handling, better cornering. It's very sensitive to input, so I still want to reiterate that. Just keep telling yourself to sort of slow down in your brain, right? Um, smaller inputs, smoother is better. If you try to override this thing, it's going to feel kind of, it's going to feel nervous. Um, I think that's a condition of overriding it. Uh, if you just slow down and, and soften the, the inputs, this thing is easy to ride and you'll find yourself going faster. It's, uh, it's incredibly easy to ride. We came up with a pretty good setting today and I want to share that. And again, like I said, as we get more tracks and more time on it, I may come in and, and say, hey, we, we found this or that. But for here, I want to give you a good foundation if you've got one of these or you're one of the lucky ones you've got your hands on them because they are still pretty tough to find. Uh, let me just tell you where we landed. And this comes from what we learned down in Georgia with Yamaha. And then over the couple of days we've had to ride it, just things that we've found and we've learned. So sag between 90 and 100, and I set mine at 97. I like a little bit, I like it on a little bit more of the more sag. That's per personal preference. If you're a real tall guy, maybe you like it taller in the back, uh, but it's definitely different. Between 90 and 100 is what they're recommending. And that's way different than anything we've seen in a while. Um, everything has gone from 100 used to be sort of the gold standard and then it was 105 and then it was 108. It's actually, you know, has been creeping up and now all of a sudden we're back down quite a ways. So interesting. Um, on the shock, low speeds at 14 clicks out, high speed one and a half out. Um, for me, just kind of softening a little bit, a, a little bit additional settle in the back and uh, just kind of, I wanted a little bit more plushness on the little chatter. We had some kind of chop coming out of these ruts and that softened it right up for me, got me where I was really happy. Uh, on the fork, on compression, I'm 11 out and 11 out on rebound. So I, oh, I sped up the rebound to click and, and softened up the fork just a touch. Uh, my fork was at 10 when I started and these are a little bit different. So I can't even tell you what stock is on these. I, I could look in the manual, I suppose, but I'm just gonna tell you where we went. I, I think this is a pretty good starting point. So 11 on compression and rebound. And then stock fork height, which uh, I think is at five. We tried going to seven, so dropping the, or bringing the forks up in the clamps. And I wanted to see if it would give me um, better bite with the front end. Um, I tried going up and down with them actually both ways. Definitely didn't like them up. When I did drop the forks down, I did get some more stability. If, if you are maybe racing desert or really fast stuff, uh, Baja type stuff, maybe that's something you could consider. I think for most folks, the stock setting is best. Um, if you get into some real deep mucky stuff or you've got real steep downhills, you can maybe try dropping it down. But I tell you that I lost some of that really good planted front end feel when I did that. So it wasn't worth what I gained. Uh, so I think the stock setup is best there. A uh, couple of notes. If you are used to a KTM where you've got compression on one side, rebound on the other, you know, Yamaha has gone to this manual adjusters up here where you just reach down and make your adjustment. It's awesome. They're both compression up top. Uh, halfway through the day, I said, oh, I'm gonna speed up my rebound and I reached over here and dialed it up and 
you know, I don't really feel any difference. And I realized I came in, I'm like, oh, I just changed compression on one side. Um, both are compression, both rebounds are on the bottom. So just remember that, it's different. Um, and I will say this as well, don't go too soft on this fork. I got caught up uh, wanting it to be a little more, seeing how plush I could get, I like to do that. Just, I'll keep going softer until it's too soft and then go, and then we go, okay, that's too much, let's back up, let's find where I'm happy. And I was feeling kind of like some harshness, so I kept going softer and softer and softer. And what will happen is you'll find yourself down into the stroke where it's firmer and you'll keep going softer and you're just down in that firm part of the stroke, it's gonna be worse and worse. And so you actually keep going until you're like, yeah, why isn't it getting better? I stiffened it all the way back up, put it like 10. I'm like, oh yeah, that's, that's better. It's now riding up where it's supposed to be. So you've gotta find that sweet spot. And that happens to a lot of folks, they just keep going softer and go, oh, I must need to get it revalved because I keep going softer and it's just really harsh. Try stiffing it up because you might be down in that, in that stiffer part of the stroke. Uh, and it, it, it's very easy to have happen to you. So if you keep going softer and softer and it's not getting better, try going stiffer. It seems counterintuitive, but it's, it's, uh, it happens. Uh, and then the maps on this, uh, the standard is with the light off. Light on is a softer, smoother map. Um, for where we're at today, it was very deep. It's a little bit sandy. I, I like the standard one, a little bit more aggressive. And typically I go with the softer maps on these or standard on the 450s just because there's so much power and I find I, I can ride smoother and longer with sort of a, a, an easier power band. But here today I like the standard one better and uh, I think it was the same way down in Georgia for the intro. Um, just the way they've made this power deliver, it's very rideable. Um, you still have to get your, your weight up over the front as you're exiting turns because it wants to wheelie. but. Um, when I went to the softer map, there was times I just, I wanted a little bit more excitement and I wasn't getting it. So play with those and just know with this, uh, with the maps, you just touch the button quickly. If you hold it down, it puts you into launch mode, launch control mode. So um, a quick tap of the button gets you from light on to light off. Uh, you'll figure that on your own, but I'll, I'll save you some time. Uh, and then a couple other changes I made. I went to some, I put some ODI grips on here. The stock grips are really hard, really tough on your hands. Uh, and I went to a thicker crossbar pad. The stock crossbar pad to me, it's, it's smaller and it's harder. And if you are to case something or, or smash your chest into that, I just want a little more padding. I think this is a safer setup. So that's just my recommendation to you, do what you want. But um, I think it's nice to go with a little more padding, something that broadens that uh, mound right here that you smash your chest into. Uh, so do what you want, but that's my suggestion. Other than that, I think the gearing on this thing is just on the money. Um, the, the bar positioning, there's a lot of room for options. If you wanna go forward, backward, spin the clamps around, you got four different mounts up here. Um, I like them in the back one, but again, that's all personal preference. This is an awesome bike. And if you have one of these, you're gonna really dig it. Um, try these settings. I think it's, if you get lost or you're not sure where to begin, it's a great starting point. Every rider is different, so you have to tweak it, but this is a great place to start. And uh, we'll be back, like I said, sort of documenting different changes we're making to this thing along the way. So stick around and stay tuned. We'll have more coming. Thanks for watching.